We are experiencing a phenomenon that happens only once in a few decades, a global pandemic so widespread that it grinds the world to a halt. Seeing rising death tolls and infection rates on the news every day is terrifying for many people, and hearing horror stories of overcrowded hospitals and painful deaths only adds to that fear. Even in this time of darkness, though, the good in people is starting to shine through, especially in my town of Guilford, Connecticut. Many local businesses are offering curbside pickup, and restaurants are making to-go meals for families. People are going out for walks and enjoying the outdoors now more than ever. Families are spending more time together, and signs supporting healthcare workers sprout up on front lawns. One of the biggest transitions I had to make during all of this was moving college online. My professors were all supportive and understood that this was going to be difficult for students. Even bigger of a change was for high school students, specifically seniors, who do not get to enjoy their senior activities or even graduation. So I decided to ask two of my friends what they thought of COVID-19 and how they're adjusting amidst the chaos. I feel like, in my opinion, online schooling is easier. Like, in a classroom setting with my friends, I can't focus as well. So at home, I kind of, like, have to discipline myself. Like, there's a reason for me to do it. So I can focus better. I feel like the assignments are just, like, a little bit easier. And I can have everything planned out right in front of me. I would say that I am a lot less stressed here than I am at school. It's definitely a lot easier than if I were to continue studying, like, at my school especially since most of my classes were labs. Usually the town of Guilford's usually like bustling and like there's people everywhere, people walking and hanging out and like it's kind of like a lively place and it's kind of died down and it's gotten quieter and less friendly. And people are being cautious and it's kind of like an apocalypse, like everyone just kind of disappeared. Yeah, I've noticed, especially in my neighborhood, a lot of people are outside more. Like, everyone is walking their dog, like, constantly outside. I think it's because to go outside before was an option, and now it's basically the only thing we have to do because everything else is shut down. So I definitely think, at least in our town, like, people are being more active, like, getting outside, like, rather than just going out, hanging out at, like, a restaurant or something. The one thing I can say confidently about this pandemic is that we will never forget it. Many people are comparing this experience to 9-11, and chances are future generations will read about the great COVID-19 pandemic in textbooks. It was strange to realize that what's happening today is history. I saw this whole situation as simply an inconvenience, but I thought about how this will most likely never happen again in my life. Everyone will have their own COVID story, whether it be memories made with family in quarantine or experiencing a tragic loss. All I know is that this whole experience will stay with me forever.